Hey chums! Today we are doing a dining review over at Kona Cafe. This is both of our first time eating here and uh, this restaurant is over at the beautiful Polynesian Village Resort. Yeah, that's over in the Magic Kingdom area of Disney. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I know that there are some sushi on the menu and I love sushi so I may end up getting the sushi today. We shall see. <laughs> Um, but go ahead and subscribe to this channel right this second if you've not done so already. Smack the like button and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. We just checked in for our reservation and we are waiting and we're just kind of taking a look around. This restaurant is located upstairs over in this building. So while we're up here, um, we're just waiting. It's a really, really beautiful hotel. There's definitely a lot to look at. And in this upstairs lobby area over by Kona, you get a really nice view of the pool and in the distance there, the Cinderella's castle. And um, you can see a couple of other show buildings and ride buildings, but really like that castle is just so impressive looking from here. That's one really impressive looking pool area. It really is. It looks like you're over at the beach. I know, it's, it's hot today too. I wish I could just kind of hang out under that waterfall. Just relax. Disney so far is the only theme park that is still requiring masks indoors so we are wearing masks just because it's the right thing to do even though we are fully vaccinated um i we did see some people though in the resort who are not wearing masks so i i don't really know but as far as we know they're the only ones still requiring yeah. them indoors i mean i think it's kind mm -hmm. of like one of those it could be one of those deals where they're just they're not really stopping people anymore, even though they're telling you you still have to wear your mask. Like on the, you know, if you look online and um, all of their their app will tell you the same thing. But I don't think they're really stopping people from walking around indoors with no mask. It's not really a, a big deal to to me per se because I am vaccinated and all the other parks are kind of relaxing their restrictions. A couple of restaurants have been to have relaxed their restrictions. I think it's only a matter of time until Disney officially relaxes their restrictions on the indoor mask policy. Yeah, so for now we're just gonna wear it because as far as we know you're still supposed to. Yeah, exactly. They gave us a paper menu that has all the um, foods with their food allergies that are suitable for whatever the issue is. If you're new to our channel, um, mine is gluten. So I'm going to check this out and see what's available to me. Meanwhile, Adam has cut back on gluten except on I'm, once I'm, a week. Yeah, <laughs> I'm limiting that to one day a week. I think today is going to be my day because this is a nice lunch. And um, I don't know, that I'm seeing that they have burgers and sandwiches and things, but I can get that stuff anywhere. I'm probably just going to get sushi or maybe one of these dashi bowls because that sounds really good. Pork belly noodle bowl. That and the way good. that he got his menu is they are still using this QR code method. So you just hold your phone up to it, the camera, and it pulls up the menu. Okay. They do serve bread over here. They brought me a couple allergy-friendly rolls. And then Adam today is eating regular rolls. And they just look like plain regular rolls. They, they actually have a crispy top that I really like. It's like almost like a flaky crispy top and the inside is super soft. Should be good. Yeah, and these rolls here are delicious. I like the um, gluten-free rolls ever since they changed them. The old ones used to be like, I don't even know how to explain them. They weren't good. They were like discs. How's that bread? Very good. So first thing that we ordered has arrived and I am super excited. They have California rolls here made with real crap. Why is this important? Because regular California rolls that you normally get have some crab with a K. So it's not really crab meat, it's a concoction of a whole bunch of stuff. And there's usually gluten holding it together or some kind of like a product that's in it, that binds it together that has gluten. So I can't eat it, neither can anyone else who has a celiac or Hashimoto's or whatever, whatever reason that you're following a gluten-free diet. So this is awesome. And they also said that all of the soy sauce here is gluten-free to make sure they don't mix anything up. So this is gonna be great. They have a little allergy stick. Oops. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this ready. 
All right, so I've just about mixed my little soy sauce concoction here. I like to put some wasabi in the soy sauce and then a little bit of ginger. That's just my preference of how I like to eat my sushi. And I don't know um, how potent their wasabi is. I hope it has a little bit of a kick to it, but we'll see in a moment. So let's grab one of these little suckers and give this a try. That looks like approval. <laughs> that is so awesome. That's very good. And um, I'm just excited to eat a California roll. <laughs> My appetizer, I decided to go with the pot stickers. These are pork and vegetable. And if you look over here, these are like, they're like all together. It's like almost like one big pot sticker. It's gonna be interesting for me to try to get this out of here. All right. Hey, look at that. There we go. I'm just gonna dig right into this because this looks fantastic. Thank you, baby. Thank you. These are very good dumplings. Nice ginger flavor. That crisp is great. And the little onions. It's fantastic. Food comes out pretty fast here. I don't know if that's just today or in general, but they just brought us like, well, we were sharing the sushi as an appetizer, and then they brought us like immediately, um, I got some wings, Adam got the pot stickers, and like literally two minutes later, the other stuff started coming out. But we'll do one thing at a time. So I got some wings. Let me see what the sauce is on this. It's a sticky sauce, so it's a sweet sauce. These are gluten-free. Yeah, this is a sweet sauce. It's very good. Uh, let's give this a try and see how their wings are. Wow, these are really sticky. That's really, really good. Entrees are here, and I decided today to go with the duck fried rice with leg confit. So we have duck spring rolls. These are crispy spring rolls. Um, some fried rice with egg, bok choy, and this is a, uh, a duck leg. Pretty stoked about this. I think there's mushrooms in here, too, because shiitakes. I this was it. also an option on the gluten-free menu. Yes. Yeah, I think if you take off that spring roll. Yeah. Let's try just the spring roll to start. Mm. Great flavor. The ginger really pops. So if you like ginger, which I do, you will like this. This roll anyway. Mm. Very good. Let's try a little bit of the rice. That's pretty good too. I swear I taste cloves in there. It's an interesting fried rice and there's duck in there as well. And now, we will of course try the duck leg. I guess you just picked this up because I don't know how else to do this. Is it as good as the wings were? Mm. That is really good. Wow. The duck is really tender. The sauce is sweet. There's a little bit of zing to it from the ginger that's in there. That is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Also, from the gluten-free menu, I got Kona chicken stir-fry. So these are rice noodles, and there's different vegetables in here, and this chicken actually looks pretty good. Actually, let's try a little piece of the chicken. A little mushroom. 
mushroom. See if I can get some noodle with that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not so simple. Okay. Well, there's a couple of them on there. At least I can try it all together. It's really good. It has a good flavor to it. And um, I like the noodles. They're like nice and sticky with each other. And the chicken's good. So I, I think that this is a, a win. I decided to get dessert and the desserts here come in a little shot glass. So this over here is a tapioca pudding and it has, it looks like some boba in it and then some fresh fruit. Let's give this a try. And this is also plant-based, so it's gluten-free and it's also suitable for anybody who's following a plant-based diet. That is delicious. That's really, really good. Even if you're not following gluten-free or plant-based diet, I think that's excellent. That's really good. <laughs> and I passed on dessert today because I am absolutely stuffed. I've got a little to-go bag right here <laughs> with the rest of my meal. I got about halfway through and realized if I eat more, I'm gonna be uncomfortable. I'm comfortable right now. I think I'm good. We just finished our really awesome lunch. The food there was really good. These are some other places that are over in this hotel. Over here is the Tambu Lounge, which is not open right now. And we actually have had a drink here a long time ago with one of our friends back when they worked for Disney. And this is Ohana. We really, really want to try this restaurant when it reopens. It has not reopened since the closure, but hopefully that's going to change. I'm sure it is <laughs> at some point and then we'll get to come in here. Just look how cool this looks inside here. Yeah, can't wait to try this place. Heard great things about it. There's some really cute stuff around this hotel. Like over here, we see Huey, Dewey and Louie all dressed like they're ready for Hawaii. And then around here, I like all these little pictures that they have around. And I especially love Minnie Mouse over here. Look at her. So cute. That was a pretty awesome lunch. I have to yes. say that I was really impressed with that restaurant. So if you are gluten free, that was a super easy place to eat at. The wings, um, the chef came over and was actually talking to us. So we found out that what was on those wings was a gluten free teriyaki sauce with um, pineapple juice and a couple other things to make it sticky. I think brown sugar. Yeah. They have gluten free soy sauce. They use real crab instead of that imitation red thing <laughs> when they for a California roll. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was like for me an awesome thing that I got to like eat really good over here and yeah. it was so easy. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm absolutely impressed. I, I love Asian food to begin with, but that was like, <laughs> that was up there. Those wings were the star of the show for me. The duck that I had was very good. Mm -hmm. The pot stickers were very good. Everything was very good. Those wings though, man, those wings. I would come back here just for those wings. Like if we're randomly at Magic Kingdom someday and you know, let's go get some wings, this is where we would go. Yeah, this is definitely a spot worth checking out. Yeah. Definitely was really good and I would love to eat here again. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, chums, we're gonna head out. Be sure to subscribe to this channel right the second if you've not done so already. Smack the like button, hit the bell icon to receive all notifications every time we upload a new video. And until next time, we will see you guys at the parks.